in Japan, we're going to see an increase on, of cancer rates by, you know, 20 or 30 percent, um, which is, um, and, and, and perhaps even higher in Fukushima Prefecture. Um, what, what we found it was that um, we got volunteers to mail us air filters from their cars. And um, we had Fukushima Prefecture air filters in Tokyo and scattered throughout all of, uh, all of Japan. Now, this was done by two groups. It was done by Fairwinds, uh, my wife's company, and, and then also it was done by SafeCast, which is a, a group of citizen scientists in Japan. We collected about five dozen um, air filters and sent them to, um, uh, to Massachusetts, where there's a lab at Worcester Poly uh, run by a guy named Marco um, Caltafin. And uh, he would lay the air filter out on X-ray film put them into a safe, and then about a week later take them out, and the radiation will burn holes in the x-ray film. Well, the Fukushima air filters were so contaminated, we couldn't wait a, 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 a week because they had so many burn holes, you, you lost track of all the radiation. So we had to change the procedure and keep them in for a day or two. Those pictures are up on the website where you can see a, a Seattle air filter, which is essentially clean, and a Tokyo air filter, which is quite a few hot particles. And then worst of all is the Fukushima Prefecture air filters. And, you know, somebody was driving that car while it was collecting this, and your lungs are just as effective an air filter as, the, as your car. So uh, there, should be, there should be grave concern in Japan, uh, but I'm afraid that you know, TEPCO... Tokyo Electric and the Japanese government are, you know, deliberately downplaying the, the significance of this.